I'd like to call this regular meeting of council to order for January the 4th, 2022. We'll stay seated for a moment of silent reflection. Thank you very much. As we gather this evening, I would like to acknowledge on behalf of Council and their community that we are meeting on the traditional territory of the Algonquin people. We would like to thank the Algonquin people and express our respect and support for their rich history. And we are extremely grateful for their many continued displays of friendship. We also thank all the generations of people who have taken care of this land for thousands of years. Welcome back and Happy New Year to members of Council and staff. I was hoping we would be meeting with the County of Renfrew and the Warden tonight. Unfortunately, they notified us yesterday to say that they couldn't make it um, because of the uh, COVID challenges that they're experiencing. It has been a challenge for every municipality constantly adjusting to the changing environment the COVID variants have presented. Christmas gathering plans for 2021 changed quickly for many families as the Omicron spread was rapid and unprecedented. Our communities are now experiencing staffing shortages, sporting events have been cancelled, and the return to school for children has been delayed as record numbers of new cases have occurred over the holidays. Even Renfrew County has seen a marked increase in positive COVID cases compared to previous COVID outbreaks. Our residents are exhausted and frustrated as optimism experienced in October has become isolation and restrictions in December. As we start 2022, let's stay focused on adjusting and adapting to the changing landscape and building on the successes we've achieved as we move forward. Thank you. I have a motion that the January 4th, 2022 mayor's address be accepted as presented. I'm going to move in a second and move by Councillor Rachel Schoenfeld, seconded by Councillor Robinson. Councillor Buckwalt? Yes. Councillor Robinson? Yes. Councillor Rachel Schoenfeld? Yes. And yes. Gary, thank you. Are there any declarations of pecuniary interest in the general nature thereof? Seeing none, then I have a motion that the December 21st, 2021 Special Council minutes and the December 21st, 2021 regular minutes be accepted as presented. Moved by Councillor Rector Schoenfeld, seconded by Councillor Robinson. Are there any additions, corrections, or omissions? Seeing none, Councillor Buckwald? Yes. Councillor Robinson? Yes. Councillor Rector Schoenfeld? Yes. And yes, Mary, thank you. We will move on to 7.1, which is our reports and request to purchase shoreline road allowance. I have a motion that Council approves the sale of shoreline road allowance adjacent to the property owned by Dennis. Schnell and Henry Westenberg, described as Lot 10, Plan 496, Geographic Township of North Algona. Can I get a mover and a second, please? Moved by Councillor Reiki Schoenfeld, seconded by Councillor Buckwalt. Comments or questions? Seeing none, Councillor Buckwalt? Yes. Councillor Robinson? Yes. Councillor Reiki Schoenfeld? Yes. Oh, yes. Karen, thank you. Item 7.2 is the COVID-19 update. I have a motion that council accepts the COVID-19 update as presented. Moved by Councillor Robinson, seconded by Councillor Reiki Schoenfeld. Comments or questions? Seeing none, Councillor Buckwald. Yes. Councillor Robinson? Yes. Councillor Reiki Schoenfeld? Yes. I mean, yes. 
Very expensive. Item 9.1 are the non action items. I have a motion that correspondence item 9.1 be accepted as information. And I'm going to move in a second. Move. Moved by Councillor Robinson, seconded by Councillor Eckman Schoenfeld. Councillor Buckwell? Yes. Councillor Robinson? Yes. Councillor Eckman Schoenfeld? Yes. And yes. Thank you. Item 9.2.1 is the Heritage Radio Municipal Communications Package. I have a motion that the council accepts the report as presented and is recommended not purchase the Heritage Radio Municipal Communications Package in 2022. Can I get a second? Moved by Councilor Reiki Schoenfeld, seconded by Councilor Buckwell. Comments or questions? Councilor Reiki Schoenfeld. I like the idea of trying to save money. My only concern is lots of people listen to Valley Heritage Radio and they'll hear stuff about our township going on, even though they don't live in the township, that still might bring people to our township. So I guess my concern is that then the only people receiving the information, unless you look on our website, are the people from our township. But um, like you had talked about before, maybe taking out an ad in a leader or in that free, the, the Pembroke Observer, that free one that goes to everybody, that might help to, you know, allow people from other municipalities to know what's going on in ours. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, that's my only concern. I think that still would be cheaper than the $1,500 probably. Thank you. Councillor uh, Robinson. Um, I guess the question would be, uh, what was the cost of the package? Staff, I believe you can bring up the uh, letter. So 1300 plus tax, and that was for 200 to uh, 30 second radio ads. <clears throat> I guess my question is, did we use up all of our ad space last year? No. Can we still use it or is it no? Nice. Councillor Robinson. Um, if we so choose, can we do because quite often times they have um, sales that are like a couple hundred dollars here or there. Um, could we subscribe to getting notification of those? And then we're much more targeted on what it is that we want to put out there. Yeah, because if we're not going to use all of what's what we're paying for, then it makes no sense for us to do that. Councilor Barkov, did you have anything you want to add? Um, yeah, I, I know, I heard that we didn't use all of our time last year. Approximately how many ads did we use? Uh, I believe just over a hundred. Councilor Robinson? Um, what I was going to try and find out was when were those used? You know, I, I don't need to have any idea, but just to have an idea because they have there are different things that are promoted throughout the year and they're nowhere near thirteen hundred dollars to any company. So I, I'm thinking that let's be a little bit more considerate. The first year we used this advertising, we had a lot more events going on. Over the months really Less than that, so we didn't have the need we had before. Mm -hmm. But when everything was going well, it was a big deal. Mm -hmm. And that was going to be what I wanted to uh, speak to as well. Is that with COVID, we don't know 
how long it will be under these restrictions. So yes, it certainly puts a damper on what we are able to do. So I agree with you that maybe just direction to staff that we uh, look at some individual advertising for events rather than buying a package. Mm -hmm. As to like just to reinforce the fact about taking out some ads in our local newspapers too, because not everybody reads, not everybody listens to Valley, but lots of people do look at that newspaper that comes out once a week with all the flyers. Any other comments? Seeing none, Councillor Barthold. Yes. Councillor Robinson? Yes. Councillor Reiki Schoenfeld? Yes. I mean, yes. That's great. Thank you. <coughs> Item 10 is uh, <coughs> bylaws. So we have the spending bylaw. And has everybody had a chance? Can we put that up, please? The spending bylaw. Yeah. So this is, uh, and maybe I'll let uh, Michelle explain it again. This is just a bylaw to allow staff to spend money until we pass our budget. That, that's correct. So we have we enacted this bylaw last year, and so it allows Ms. Kali, um to continue prior to the mid-2022 budget that we passed. Councilor Mayor, for the To the Mayor, um, so on the second line where it says, whereas the Lord Chair Municipality provide any service or thing that the municipality considers necessary, what would be like a thing? <laughs> what would be an example of a thing? Oh, uh, you write in service or uh, usually it's services or, but it could be. Um, so the mayor, I can, I can help. For, for example, if a piece of equipment breaks down, you can buy a truck or a, yeah. a, a wing, which is a thing. So basically buying material from it. Okay, like a cap, like a capital. It's a capital expense of how they approve it. Okay. Any other? Uh, well, I need a mover and a seconder first. Moved by Councillor Robinson, seconded by Councillor Bucklow. Any other comments or questions? Seeing none, Councillor Bucklow. Yes. Councillor Robinson. Yes. Councillor Reggie Shonto. Yes. And a yes. Yes, Terry, thank you. And then we have item 10.2, which is the uh, delegation of authority. If you want to go and bring that one up too, please. I believe we did this last year as well. You know, the mayor, we actually did this in March of 2020 when COVID first came in. And the fear was that council could be incapacitated and not be able to function. Uh, that didn't happen, but the fear about it is greater this time of actually having this um, new, bio, new variant possibly wiping council out temporarily. Um, so what we did the last time it was enacted while well, the provincial emergency is, is declared, what we did this time is we, the province says that they will be probably lessening restrictions maybe on the 17th, just to be safe. We put it to the 18th of February. Um, so 
that power would go away. So what it does, it allows, just like the spending bylaw that we just did, it allows the mayor and the CIO to sign off on a thing or a purchase that, that may not be able to get to council because council is incapacitated. So just a way of keeping the municipality running. That's all right, Michelle. Michael. And that's just in that if, the, if we didn't have enough for a form, that would happen. Or in the event that there was a burden that you couldn't bring a form together for some reason, that the, the provincial regulation said or restriction said no, you can't even meet remotely. Just to cover all our bases. Any other uh, questions, comments? Can I just read it again? Because I don't have that in my pocket that I saw. Sounds right for some point. Does it designate the church of the mayor's designate or the CAO designate? It would be the CAO. Oh, okay. We have to put something in and or the mayor designate it. In case mayors? We we could add that as a as a housekeeping thing a little later we put that in if you if you would like that to pass the bylaw and we'll just include that. Because I think that's important because there could be a chance too that the mayor can also be yeah, so they've got to be able to do that. So how would that be? So it would be <laughs> the chief administrative officer or designate and the mayor or designate. So we'll just include that. We pass the way it is. Councilor Barkwell. Uh, through the mayor, I'm just, uh, I, can, I can understand hiring employees. Uh, I'm not certain what the urgency would be for dismissal or for uh, establishing HR policy. Uh, are they necessary in this situation? Well, through the mayor, I just want to get some contact. Did you hear that, Councillor Barcol? Uh, sorry, no, I didn't. I couldn't make that out. So again, for the mayor, it could be a, a response um, policy through COVID or something that has to happen right away as, as ordered by the province, for example, or the medical offer. Okay. Thank you. That's all right. I'm also a little concerned about D2. I'm thinking D also. I'm just thinking if, if the province did say something like all um, employees have to be vaccinated, then we don't need a policy for that. We're told, we're voluntold to do that. It's just the same as when they say we only can have so many people in the building or we can only do certain things. So I'm just, I don't know. So what's your thought? Do you want to remove D? I personally would like to be removed. I agree with Councilor Buckwald in like A, B, and C. I can see that of being that could uh, when things change and we don't have a quorum and all that other stuff, I can see that being very important. But D not so much. And I think if anything is pertaining to COVID, we do have a policy. And if it's something serious for the province says thou shall do it, then of course we have to do it, regardless of it, it will supersede. Our policy. Council Robinson. Um, um, D, what other circumstances would we be moving back to our CA? Through the CAO, a human resource policy could be a lot of things and it doesn't have to be COVID. And if it's COVID and the province doesn't act something, then you would pass a policy to enforce what the province has done. Um, it would be normal procedure to put something in place, not just the province that uh, you have to inform your workers as to what you're doing. Uh, but a policy could be 
the, the FDR policy, it could be all kinds of things that come up. It, it's, it's something that normally the CAO would, would put things in place anyway. So if, you want to, if you want a CAO to manage your staff. Okay, so the HR policy, then, even though the province may have requested us to enforce certain things, we still have to put it through our process. We, we do that, and we take us, for example, that people in the province of Ontario have to have a driver's license. In our policies, we hire people in this rate of their job description that they have a driver's license. We do um, follow the provincial regulations under normal circumstances. Um, we can't assume that everyone has what the province has stated them that we have. Uh, I think maybe a possible solution through the mayor uh, for section D is if we remove the word policies, because because establishing policy is one of the main functions of the elected council. Um, and I don't see anything where as a policy would need to be done that quickly. I can see where a procedure may have to be set up in response to uh, provincial or federal requirements. Um, but I think policy should stay within the hands of council as a whole. So the council agreed then is to take out the word policies. Mm -hmm. Looks like that's the consensus. Well, I don't. Do you have the resolution? Okay. The resolution would be that now, therefore, the Council of Market Bond will, of course, enact the following bylaw 2022 02 to delegate Council's authority. Should we add an act of bylaw as amended? Okay, so the change has been made. Um, Councillor Barkwell? Uh, yes. Councillor Robinson? Yes. Councillor Ray Pachonko? Yes. I mean, yes, that's carried. Thank you. Can we get a mover second? Sorry. Nice. I was questioning it myself. I guess I no, we didn't get a mover in a second. So moved. Can I get a mover in a second? Moved by Councillor Robinson, seconded by Councillor Parkwell. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my apologies. So that brings us to 13, which is report from committees. 13.1 is a recreation committee recommendations. I have a motion that council supports the recommendations from the Recreation Committee to move forward with collaboration on the Water and Dirt Festival for 2022, and further that the township sponsors two public skating events during the March school break at the Eden Bell Arena at a cost of $260. Can I have a mover and a seconder? Moved by Councilor Reckon Jones, seconded by Councilor Robinson. Councilor Robinson? 
comments or questions? Seeing none, Councilor Barkholt? Yes. Councilor Robinson? Yes. Councilor Redbridge on top? Yes. Yes, that's carried. Thank you. So upcoming um, meetings and unfinished business. Our next meeting will be, our next regular meeting will be January the 18th, 2022 at 7 p.m. via Zoom. And uh, we will also be uh, looking at our appointment bylaw. And that will be on January 18th, 2022 council meeting as well. So I have a motion that council goes into closed session. Oh, sorry. I think we missed um, the staff report 7.1, the COVID report. I think we had it sent to us, but I don't think we talked about it. We, it was on my like, this agenda, but it's not on our it was uh, resolution was passed. Yeah, the resolution was already passed. Okay. So. We weren't going to talk about the report, no? And the mayor asked the question. Okay, well, that's fine. So I have a motion that council goes into closed session at 7.26 p.m. for one proposed or pending acquisition or disposition of land by the municipality or local board, and for uh, two personal matters about an identifiable individual, including municipal or local board employee. And I got a mover and a second, and moved by Councilor Reggie Schoenfeld, seconded by Councilor Robinson. Councilor Buckwald? Yes. Councilor Robinson? Yes. Councilor Reggie Schoenfeld? Yes. Yes. Carried. Okay. 